How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Let's Play Soma. Soma is made by a little-known studio you may have heard of before, Frictional Games. The minds behind Penumbra and Amnesia the Dark Descent, the latter of which kicked off a horror game renaissance and had a huge impact on the genre. Today, we're going to start their most recently released game. Soma came out this morning. I would have done it this morning, but the morning is no time for horror games. Yeah, set the right mood. This one is not set in Victorian streets. It's not set in a medieval castle, no. This one is full-blown science fiction horror with tons of art influences from H.R. Geiger. The art is the thing that I might be the most eager to see in the whole game, just based on uh, what they first showed off years ago. It looks really strong art direction-wise. Uh, I've been reading the development blogs to keep up with what they're doing, but after I saw that, the, those first amazing screenshots and the live-action teasers a few years back, I went on a media blackout. So, as you might imagine, this will be a blind playthrough, my favorite way to do horror games. I don't want to wait any longer, don't want to make you wait any longer. Let's start this up. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Philip K. Dick. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munch? Why is there never enough time? For what? My dude seemed awfully nonchalant about his bleed braining. Oh, we have control now, okay. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan, I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Simon, Simon, Simon. All right, so I guess our first objective is to find that uh, radioactive tracer. Uh, first, we'll messy up his apartment a little bit. Actually, first things first, I want to turn on the lights. I really should drink the tracer fluid before I go see Dr. Munchie. So, I appreciate right off the bat food. that this character does not have amnesia. So messy, Simon, you're so messy. Messy, messy, messy. Okay, it's not in there. How about up here? Um, I appreciate that the main character, Simon, does not have amnesia. Although he was clearly involved in uh, some kind of accident. Which presumably uh, resulted in some pretty severe damage to his brain. Although not severe enough that he cannot apparently live on his own just fine. Tracer fluid. Oh no, Simon, that's a good question. Uh, control wise, this is. Ooh, shinies. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, this control is pretty much the same as uh, other frictional games. You push and pull while you're uh, clicking down on the mouse button to drag objects around. Let's see, is that December 7th? Or have they, like, localized the, uh, the format the dates are written in, and it's actually, uh, July 12th? I don't know. Uh, Robin McConnell book signing. I don't recognize that name. I feel like that's an author I should be familiar with, unless she's made up. So, Toronto. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street. Bloor Street! And Spadina Road. The mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky as the car crashed into the passenger side Ashley Hall. 23 sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs. Before the ambulance arrived, her friend and driver Simon Jarrett, that's me, 26, survived but with complicated results, believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. 
Hmm. Oh, I could have read it that way. Oops. Dr. Aaron Peak. Toronto again. Okay. Oh, I don't want to dick around too much, but we gotta fire some emails off. God, this mm, this is hitting too close to home. Send. See, good Does luck. You'll it? need it. I told him about it. Make sure you're actually on time to open the store. Whatever. Send that email. Send that shit off. Better late than never. New prescription. You tend to drain the cavity pr to prevent blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I've written you a prescription for Prazosin. Help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Alright, and this is Mushi, who I'm going off to see, so I need to go and find that fluid. Go and find the fluid. Oh, I hope I get, like, an MGS-5-style blowout. Nah. Summer's coming. I hope it's a good one. Nah. Oh, this is really pretty, though. I like this art direction. Put your toilet seat down. Is it in here? There it is. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Items have a nice little shimmer. Gatatan. I've not heard of that. Yep, radioactive contrasting uh, agent. So, uh, this is... He's going to have, like, a PET or a CT scan done. I learned about how these work a while ago, so I might like be... Milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Oh, that's a good descriptor. That's really good. We all know what that taste is like somehow. Somehow. Anything important in here? Oh, hey, message. Hey, Simon. It's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. Well, I got the email off. He must have caught up by now. Oh my god! The email that I sent him was optional? Okay. Also, this says Ombra Della Sera. Volterra. Um. Ombra, I'm assuming, is a shadow? Like Umbridden? Uh, and then the rest of it is Della Sera, which means of the night. So, Shadow of the Night? I don't know what Volterra is. Mapping Minds by Albert Isaacson. This speaks to me. Great. Oh, right. Um, before, I was saying that I learned, like, a few years ago uh, how PET and CT scans work, and it's really cool. So they inject you with a radioactive tracer, and they stimulate different areas of your brain so that the blood with the, uh, the easily visible tracer in it will flow there, and it'll pull, like, a hot spot, kind of. And they use that to check for abnormalities. I love that picture. Oh, I could choose to ignore this. Jesse the Grimoire. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, I know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Right. His, his severe brain damage is not necessarily, like, impaired motor or speech functions or anything like that he's kind of uh he's kind of hemorrhaging in his brain ah Ugh. i really like that save icon hello dr munchie let's see can i get the lights on yep where is everyone? Thought this place would be busy. Can't pull the curtains aside? Ooh, this is a really nice view. What a pretty game. Just 
doing renovations in here, I guess? Biometrics. Yeah. This is the place, right? It must be. Let me in. I'm here, dude. Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. That's okay. I can figure this out. Okay, so we have a we have a, a key code puzzle. That's fine. I can find the combination, no problem. Examine any of you guys? I can look through his emails. Sent, we're locked out. I found some extra time in the lab. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change. Aw, oh, Paul got locked out. Not allowed to repeat the code in mails or text, but I'll leave a note some... Uh, okay, that's how I find it. Get your stuff ready. Talk to Pace about using the lab this weekend. Or this week, rather. Aaron Peake will send somebody over. She is a patient that was recently in a car crash. It'd be interesting. Oh, I, I'm glad I'm like a guinea pig to these guys. Paul, oh, where are you? I've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. One, two, three, four, five. Damn it, Paul. What are you doing, Paul? So it's gotta be in one of these drawers. What the hell are these? Oh, they're books. They make wooden sounds when they clank against the floor. Put your scalpel away, the brain can heal itself. Hmm. Damaged brain, scan to, a, to produce computer model. That's much easier to read. Oh, this is all about uh, Mushi's research. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing, and we hope to accomplish this with simple things like exercise therapy and light medication. Alright. Nothing too in-depth there. Here it is. Page 56. Her graph... Uh, I can barely read some of this stuff. What the hell is that last digit? It's 250... Triangle. God, that's a 1, a 7, or maybe a 4. I'm gonna go with 1. 2501. Let's try that. Yeah. We do it. We do basic puzzle. Yeah, it's sprint. Can I get a look at the chart? This is James G. Okay. Spooky room. This is all super cool looking, actually. Oh, it's a server room, too. Okay. I like the spooky atmospheric lighting better. There you go, spooky room. Oh, shit. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. So how far in the future are we exactly? Also, I will be ready in a second just after I take a look around your cool little lab. I'm glad they moved away from the gothic castle setting. Because, man, they can really flex their art muscles with this. Please, have a seat. It's go it goes some directions later on, I know that. Uh, what I'm hoping is I don't go into this chair and then the entire rest of the game from here on out, I hope it's not like some kind of hallucination or delusion um, or something to that effect. All right. Let me just get this out of the way. What I'm assuming you are Simon is Garrett, that he's right? going to, to right. like upload my consciousness Canada, or implant my G brain into a robot Born body or something. That's my July guess. 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version six. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Yeah, that sounds like some some strong foreshadowing. I don't know. 
the title of the game tips me off to a lot of possibilities as well. Like... What happened? Oh, hold on. Hello? Oh. Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? Am I strapped into the chair? No, I can move. It's just... There's one funny. light source in the whole room that I can move towards. Ooh. Fuck. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. This place? How did I get here? <laughs> yeah, this is what I want. I can figure this out. Yeah, this is the vibe that I got from those early trailers. Ooh. Okay. So we solved one problem. Um, I was saying that that Soma is a really succinct title, but you can glean a lot from it. For instance, oh, these are when did we get here? These are diving suits. Um, this game. Uh, takes place, I think, underwater, in, like, some sort of underwater research lab in, like, the far future, which I didn't get the impression that this is the far future from the, the segment we were in before, but who knows how much time passed while Simon was in the chair. Um, it used to be set in space, but at some point they just kind of did a 180 on that, uh, which kind of bums me out a little bit, but I'm assuming they have the reason. Still looking forward to routine. Okay, I can't do a whole lot with this just yet anyway. Needs some kind of omni tool, I think. Uh right. Um I was saying you can glean a lot from Soma's title. Oh man. Uh like Soma is is <laughs> this is strong. Soma is uh the Greek word for body. And it's also the root for a lot of words. Uh, somata, somatic, somatotype, like the three somatotypes. Endoderm, ectoderm, and I can't remember the middle one with the heart. Uh, somatization, somatostatin, somatosensory system, which is the system that governs all of your sensory receptors from pain to proprioception. The somatic nervous system, which carries motor signals to and from the central nervous system. Uh, somatic symptom disorder, you might have heard that phrase before, uh, psychosomatic illness, which is used to refer to symptoms like pain or fatigue with no external cause. They're clearly playing around with that root word a lot, Soma. The title is just body, the save icon is a brain. So the big themes of the game you can glean just from this tiny, tiny bit of information are that it's about the body and the brain. All right, so we're okay in here. Just close. God, the smoke! I thought I I thought it was something moving around. Data buffer available. Carl, it's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comp set. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving on power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. Whoa, keep most of what out. How did I do that? They didn't seem that concerned about it, though. Which is odd. Um, this icon... seemed like... yeah. I, at this point, I'm kind of operating under the assumption he might be a robot now. And he's just, like, jamming his his robot digits into circuits. I don't know what that is. It's quite hard to see in here. Oh, what's this? Nothing. It's a texture. So, what am I in here for? Gotta be able to pick something up. Can I push that in? Yep. Did 
That appeared to not do anything. I don't... Oh, no, there's still all this stuff. Oh, man. This is setting a really, really strong atmosphere. I know I did... Yeah, it's like a pneumatic boot. Um, I know I did, like, a ton of, of talking... ...at the start of this, but... ...now that we can kind of settle into the atmosphere a little bit... ...I'm ready to just get absorbed. Oh, this all looks so cool. I really want to turn a light on, though. I'm assuming that won't be an option. For the most part, it's, this part just seems like linear corridors. Pathos 2. Upsilon. Oh. Okay. Hey, you. Can you talk? Can you talk like the others? God, I hear movement. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Can I hide here? Those robots, um... So... When the game was first announced, there were a bunch of live-action shorts that accompanied the announcement. Or preceded it, actually. Fuck. Mmm. Something's moving in the vents. Fuck. That seems fine. Oh, everything's fine. Except this. Except all that. <laughs> uh, it's all fine. Everything is fine. Okay. Nope. 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 I had heard that this game gets off to a slow start. But no, it, it threw me right in after, like, the first ten minutes of exposition. Ooh. Keep hands clear. I feel super safe in this high-voltage area. Ah. Uh. Okay. What am I avoiding being seen by? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to take the pneumatic seal off? It seems like progression. Whoa, shit! Yeah, it was just right there. Was that supposed to happen? Because I didn't see any other way to go. Ooh, I don't like this chromatic aberration effect. I need to do something about that. That chromatic aberration is ugly. Fuck, fuck. Omni tools. Yeah, I can use some of you guys. Wait, no, I want to read this. Uh, the Omnitool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the user to automate routine actions through basic logical charts. Uh, over time, the Omnitool will automatically adapt its program to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. It is a short-range signal useful for basic or automated actions such as opening doors, uh, workstation ter uh, terminals, main slot is a standard C11-21 connector. Okay, that's all gobbledygook. 
Okay. Got me an Omni tool. Please stop with the chromatic aberration. So I still have an inventory. Oh, that's a new way to to uh, display the inventory. Okay. Fuck. These mechanical noises are so, so unsettling. Like the the robotic heavy breathing from when we interface with the the, the dead robot back there. That is nightmarish. Oh shit, 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 shit. Okay. Okay, we're cool. I think. Ah. <gasps> oh! Ah, shit! Ah. Damn it, ow! Oh, it's the, uh, the... I was getting electrocuted. <laughs> Shit, man. That sucked. Oh. That scared the hell out of me, too. Where the hell am I? I didn't just get knocked out by, by Mr. Mean Robot Monster and teleported somewhere, right? Wait, what? Did I not swipe it correctly, or can I not use this yet? No, I just can't use it yet. Okay. Can't do that. Back the way I came, I guess. I cannot see shit. Cannot see shit all. There's a gate. There's a chain link fence. That's not budging. Okay. Okay. We can deal with that. Eventually. Uh, where else can we go, though? so dark. It's so, so dark. Okay, I see, I see. I didn't recognize where I was. This should get me back on the right path. Fuck off. Ugh. This, oh man. Evocative is what this is. This is a strong, strong horror atmosphere. I'm happy with this. I'm spooked, but I'm... Mm. Spooked, but I'm happy. With how this is going. So now that I... Oh, I already saw this. So now that I have the Omni tool, I can go back to the room that I started in, where I needed it earlier. Which was it. I can't even tell whether or not a door just opened or closed. I can't even see that. Okay, it's green, so it just opened. <laughs> Fuck, man. Oh, it's real dark. Am I gonna get a flashlight or something or a lantern? I'm assuming I will. Up to three, System status. Activated. Remote access denied. Program unreliable. Denied. 13 days remaining. Emergency systems. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, I can just click back. Progress scan. Um. Yeah, I see Munchie's name, I see mine. What about... Hold on. Inventory? Okay, okay, okay. Unknown contamination! That's what I like to see. All Himatsu power suits stored at Omicron. Omni tool. Manage tool chip. Can't update it. Is in perfect condition but not fitted with a tool chip. Note that without a tool chip, your kit will be unavailable, including your cross site security access. Your Omnitool. Luis Murin. 
Currently being serviced by the full onboard intelligence helper Jane. Note that installing a Cortex chip will override the helper and may severely alter user experience. Yeah, I unlocked it. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pesos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't wanna get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running, but there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock down the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Okay. John Stromer. Back, back. Okay, where was that toolbox? It was like, it was pretty close by, right? Okay, now how or where do I insert that? Tool chip found. Update. I feel like I'm gonna get away from one of these terminals sooner or later and something's just gonna be right behind me. Look behind you. I said look behind you. Okay, how do there. Great. Now I presume I can do all sorts of neat shit with this. Um Yeah. Pilot seat number three. Pilot seat. Pilot status. No pilot found. Connection status. Offline. No pilot found. Construct network. It's offline. Impro- Whoa. Is it just gonna loop like this? Yeah. It seems like it. Seems like it. Fuck. I just hear something come. Alright. Time is kind of flying. This has been a, a nice little uh, opening taste of Soma. Look forward to more. I know I am. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.